B script. High dimensional writing systems based on the B pen. B pen beta test 1. And there's the third dimension. So this is the first prototype of the B-Pen. Its purpose is to record the 3D information of your pen motions, not just the forward and back and left and right, also the up and down, so that there's a third dimension to the writing. Unfortunately, in this crude prototype, the resistance of the two retractable pen cartridges is not exactly the same, tending, causing it to tend to favor one side. Uh, we can compensate for this by trying to apply the appropriate lateral pressure, but in future builds this will be a key point to focus on, ensuring that both the sides have the exact same resistance. The main goal of the B-Pen is to try to trace a 3D flight path through the air, much like trying to tra trace the flight path of a bumblebee, another reason I like to call it the B-Pen. So it should be no surprise that I like to call each of the retractable pen cartridges stingers. Here's what a stinger is made of, a simple cartridge with a hook, an elastic band, and a metal pe re pen refill. The pen refill has to be cut on the top so that there's a slit for the elastic to grab onto. Once loaded in, you will have an elastic, retractable, extendable pen. This can be a little bit of fun on its own. It actually allows for a larger area of writing while resting your hand in a single place. The key here is to adjust the properties of the spring or elastic so that it has just enough pressure to write while still having a wide range for extension and retraction. Now let's do a quick test of the z-axis. Technically we also have a rotation axis now. I will for the first part keep the pens so that they are lined up vertically with the writer horizontally for you. Also sorry about the viewing angle. Notice that when the pen is up the letters mirror vertically whereas when the pen is down they mirror horizontally. This is because the, because the pens aren't actually on the exact same line. There is a slight gap between them. So when it goes all the way down, they pull apart in the other direction. Now, I personally think in this first prototype the pressure is quite high. I would like a little less pressure. It feels a little awkward writing. Maybe I just have to get used to it and I think it would be smoother if I could apply less pressure. I'm thinking perhaps felt pens, but I'm having trouble figuring out how to get cartridges nice and thin and long uh, from felt pens that are stiff enough. And right here you can see the exact moment I finally realized that it could also be used as a compass. I've considered the idea of having a third pen in the middle, but that just starts to seem a little excessive, because actually, I don't think it would add that much more information per se, a lot of it can be extrapolated from the other two pens, and I just don't want that much noise on the paper. Already the biggest problem here is noisy. You have to try to design a script that's not going to be too noisy on the page. And now some simple line tests. We're still going to lock the rotation of the B-Pen. We don't want to start playing with rotation yet, as that will just give us too many dimensions. For now, we'll deal with X, Y, Z and leave rotation off. Uh, we'll keep the pens lined up directly with the user. Here, we're not even going to use the Z-axis. We're just seeing what we can do with the two pens. And fine, we'll throw in some with tiny rotational twists, just because they don't require a z-axis.
and now we'll play quickly with the angle of the B pen. As you can see, uh, if you angle it drastically, the pen that becomes more and more perpendicular to the paper will become lighter and lighter until it's not even drawing a line. It can, that way it can be used to trace without actually leaving a line. You will be drawing an extended border around whatever the non-drawing pen is touching. And it seems the B pen is quite good at making its own lined paper systems. Now let's try using the B pen to create its own double lined writing area and see what we can do within that space. With this pen orientation, the two pens vertically aligned with the writer, as you can see, using horizontal double lines uh, that are properly spaced for the B pen, which it just happens to produce perfectly itself, you will have two lines that can exist within both lines at the same time separate when the pen is high, or squeezed into the same area when the pen is low. This means that the same pen strokes can be identified as being either made from a high position or a low position. Now simply encoding the 3D information is not enough. It has to be legible by a human, of course. We have to be able to retrieve the information. So, we're not trying to simply design a tool capable of encoding the information, we're also trying to encode it in a way that is relatively intuitive for humans to read. Already you can see the information is there, but it's not necessarily intuitive to read in its current form. That's why B Script focuses on designing a script for the B Pen. A script that will somehow incorporate the Z dimension, while still maintaining many of the properties that allow it to be legible by humans. The hope being that if a proper writing system can be devised that does incorporate the third dimension, later a set of gestures can be translated from that language into 3D gestures, as opposed to going the other way, which might end up hitting a wall. You might design gestures that just simply cannot be translated onto paper. Whereas if you first design the writing system, they can definitely also exist as 3D gestures. In the end, the system devised would have to be compared to a 2D system. Compare using it as 3D gestures versus using 2D gestures even in a 3D space based on a standard 2D language. Does it offer any extra efficiencies and optimizations? or is it simply burdensome and offer very little value at all. Even if it turns out that it doesn't offer any value as a 3D gesture recording system, I'm already having enough fun with it that I think it's got some serious potential as a simple fun script in various applications. But the one thing I'm really surprised by is that I'm noticing several of the types of information I try to encode and then read back are mutually exclusive implying that there's probably going to have to be divergent versions of the script that are mutually exclusive as well, meaning lots of different scripts, a whole family. Now let's try some writing with the pen-oriented 90-degree rotation, horizontal to the user, vertical to you. As you can see, it produces similar effects, just rotated 90 degrees. Now let's compare each rotational version, the high state and the low state. High state first, then low state. As you can see, the low states produce tight closed loops that overlap, whereas the high states would require that the loop be very large before it starts overlapping. Let's call the pen high state 0 and the pen low state 1. Now let's just draw a random assortment of loops in random directions and see if we can differentiate them after the fact. As you can see, when the pen is in its low state, the loops overlap, whereas when it's in its high state, the loops have to be very large before they even bump into each other, 
meaning that any reasonable size loops will not overlap when the pen is high. Now let's call the pen low state 1 and the pen high state 0 and see if we can read them back, 0, 1, 1, etc. We are easily able to extract a simple binary number out of this and we're completely ignoring the shape of the stroke, the side of the line, orientation, shots, all the other variables are just ignored. We're simply looking at the depth of the pen. Now having a wider depth range would be nice, especially if we could get more than high and low states out of it. We, if we could get it so wide that we could read between different layers of value. Um, but I'd say this was a very successful beta test with a lot of, shows a lot of promise for potential scripts. Uh, the many different kinds I would say. I'd say the B-Pen has the potential to create a whole new family of scripts.